Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, we're going to cover the Boom Boot Manager in Row 8, which makes it easier to boot from LVM snapshots. To get started, we'll run the yum install boom boot command. This will install the packages needed to use Boom. We'll go ahead and say yes here, and the packages will be installed. Next, we'll run a VGS to show that the system has one volume group called RHEL. And then we'll run LVS to show the logical volumes. We have a root logical volume with a root file system and a swap logical volume with a swap. Now we'll go ahead and create a snapshot of the root logical volume with the LV create command. Um, we'll name the snapshot root snapshot before changes and we'll specify a size of this uh, snapshot of 25 gig. You want to make sure you properly size your snapshots though because if you make it too small and it fills up, the snapshot will be invalidated. Next, we're going to create a profile for Boom to use, and we'll create the profile from this host, and we're going to specify a uname pattern of EL8 since we're on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. Next, we'll go ahead and run Boom Create, and this will create a Boom boot entry. We're going to give it a title of Root LV Snapshot Before Changes, and we're going to tell Boom to use the uh, Root Snapshot Before Changes logical volume that we previously created. Okay, now we're going to run cat slash root slash important file. This is going to show that there's an important file um, here, and we're going to run id rel user to show that this account exists. What we're going to do now is actually um, say someone went in here and deleted this file, and they deleted the user. And at this point, we want to use boom to boot from the snapshot to recover this information. So what we would do is we'll go ahead and reboot the server. and You'll notice here when we, when we get to the grub menu, we now have a new entry here called root LV snapshot before changes. This is the name of the, the, the title that we set up when we created the boom uh, boot entry. So we'll go ahead and press enter there and it's gonna boot off that snapshot. And once we um, boot up and get logged in here, we should be able to still have that file and the user that were deleted since they existed when the snapshot um, was created. So we'll go ahead and log in and then we'll open a terminal window here. And we'll su to root. And we'll go ahead and um, run cat slash proc slash cmd line. And you can see the root device that was used to boot the system up was the snapshot logical volume that we had created. And then we'll go ahead and run cat slash root slash important file, and the file is there. And if we run id rel user, you can see that the user is there as well. As you can see, we have successfully booted to the snapshot using the boom boot manager. And at this point, we have a couple different options. We could reboot back to the original logical volume, which would still have the user deleted and the important file deleted. Or if we wanted to merge this snapshot back into the, into the original logical volume, we could run a command such as lv convert dash dash merge and specify the snapshot logical volume. That would take our snapshot and merge that back into the root logical volume, basically rolling the system back to the time that the snapshot was created. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you get a chance to try out the Rel8 beta and the Boom Boot Manager.